Hello beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. So today I have a Disney haul for you guys. And in this box, I've put some random Disney items that I've acquired over the past few days. The majority of this stuff are things that I actually got from their website on sale. So there are a lot of items here that I got on sale. But without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing that I'm going to show you, I actually got from Lorac and it was on sale for I think over 50% off. And this is the Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales palette. And I wasn't going to initially get this eyeshadow palette, but since it was on a good sale, I just went for it. And it is actually really, really pretty. Let me show you the colors. Here are all the colors in this eyeshadow palette. It is mainly a cool tone palette, even though you have some warms in there as well. And I think they're beautiful colors. And another thing I want to show you is this packaging. It is just beautiful. It's actually a lot more impressive than what it looks like on the website. And right here on the side, you can see it has like this little opening. I'm not sure what that is for, but there's that. And another thing that I love, love, love is this big mirror. I love that. If you're trying to do your makeup and you just have the eyeshadow palette in front of you, this is a great mirror to use. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I think it is such an amazing classic ride at Disney. So this is really fun and I'm really excited to start playing with these colors. Next, I have these mini ears and these are a Sally theme from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I really love The Nightmare Before Christmas. So when I saw they came out with these, I actually ordered them from a personal shopper from Disney World. So here you can see the ears are made out to be like her skin in the same color. And then the bow, it is the colors and texture of her dress. And I think these are so, so cute. I was so excited when I got them. As soon as I saw them on the website, I knew that I wanted them. So I went ahead and ordered them. And even though we are still in winter, I think I'm going to be taking them with me when I go to Disney World in the next few days and actually wear them. I mean, I cannot wait all the way till Halloween to wear them. They are just too, too cute and I want to wear them immediately. The next thing that I am going to show you, I actually showed already during my Vlogmas and it is this Beauty and the Beast Rose Tumbler. And this was actually a Christmas present from my husband. It is so, 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 so cute. And these became very, very popular at the parks at some point. So I hesitated a little bit to get them at first because I just didn't want to be part of that crowd that was going all crazy for these. And you know, kind of like the rose gold ears, these were pretty popular just like that right before. So I kind of waited a little bit, but I really, really liked it. And perhaps you've already seen it, but this one lights up. That is so awesome. And you can, you know, you have different choices. You can be all disco or you can be a little more romantic. It's so pretty. I love, love, love this tumbler. I haven't used it yet. It is brand new as you can see, but I'm really, really excited to start using it. As I said, it is just beautiful and looking at it, it makes me happy. The next thing, it is actually Disney licensed, but this is from Hallmark. And it is just a set of different pads. And you can also see it has a little pen included. And this was just too adorable to pass up. And this I actually got at the post office. You can see they have different pads right here in different sizes. And then this one in the front is a little smaller and round. And they all have, well, the first one has Mickey and Minnie, this one has Minnie, and then the last one just has Mickey. And even though they are Christmas colors, I feel like you can use them any time of the year. Right now, I am trying to get my desk set up and with my computer and try to organize all this stuff. And I figured this would go really, really nice on that desk. So everything else that I have in this haul from now on are things that I either got at the Disney Store website or the Park Shop website or app. And the first thing I'm going to show you, by the way, this was all on sale. Everything I got was on sale. The first thing is this Pluto ornament. This is a gorgeous plush Pluto and he is looking so festive. He is holding a candy cane in his mouth and then he has the little wreath around his neck and he is wearing a Santa hat. And look at this, his ears are like flying. <laughs> I think this is so adorable. Pluto is my favorite character out of the Fab Five. So when I saw this on sale, 
I grabbed it right away. The other thing that I got on sale were these two clip magnets and these are so cute. I have one already but when I saw these were on sale I snatched two of them up. And here as you can see this one has all the Fab Five characters and then when you shake it you can see all the little glitter goes around. That is so cute. Whenever we open a bag of chips or whatever it may be we like to put a clip on them before we save them and that way they stay fresh for longer and what better way to do that than with the Disney clip. And these do have a magnet so you can put them on your fridge as well. This next item I do want to save for Christmas but again I took advantage of the sale and this is Mickey and Minnie. They are ornaments and you can actually paint them. And this says it retails for $19.95 but I'm pretty sure I got it from like $8 to $10. Actually, I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get any more. I think I should have gotten another couple of them and give them away as presents because I think they are adorable. But this one, I'm going to be keeping for myself. And very briefly, I just wanted to show you this postcard. It is Belle and the Beast and they are playing around with the snowballs and there is Chip in the middle as well. I love this scene in the movie so again, I couldn't resist getting this postcard. It is so cute and on sale. Actually, I believe I saw them on sale for even less than what I paid for them. So if it's something that you're interested in, check it out. It's on the Disney Shop app. Not sure what that is called. Disney Shop app? It's the one from the parks. But anyway, this is by the artist Sydney Hansen and it is just a beautiful postcard. I don't even know who I'm going to give it to. I think I'm actually going to keep it for myself. Moving on to some clothes. I got this shirt and guess how much I paid for this? five dollars this is a shirt from the haunted mansion and it glows in the dark and look how cute this is it says haunted mansion and they have the three hitchhiking ghosts and other characters from the haunted mansion as well it is so so cool now this is actually in children's size this is for kids but i order an extra large no i'm just kidding it's actually just a large and it fit me just fine. It's a little tiny bit short, but just a tiny bit. And for $5, come on, can't beat that. It's an awesome shirt. I also got this adorable polka dot skirt. And as you can see right here, it has a little Minnie Mouse red bow. Isn't this so, so cute? I'm most likely going to pack this to wear at the parks when I go the next few days. I figured this with a pair of leggings would be so so cute yay the last clothing item that i got is this pair of pjs and i was actually needing some pjs to replace my old ones look how cute is this it says if you love me you would let me sleep and if you know me in person you know this goes with me so so well I am not really a morning person. Waking up for me is always difficult in the morning. So I'm usually saying, you know, let me sleep five more minutes. So this definitely fits my personality. And it's Beauty and the Beast, my favorite movie. It's absolutely adorable. And I love the colors on this pajama. They are pastels and you can see the little hearts around. That is just so, so cute. And it actually feels like very comfy fabric. And last but not least, I'm going to show you some of the pins that I got. Again, most of these were on sale. I think all of them were on sale, actually. First, I got these two boxes of mystery pins. And I'm not going to open them now because I want to do a mystery pin unboxing. I have the Haunted Mansion glow-in-the-dark pins. And then I have these villain comic book pins. And these say number 13. And I'm definitely most excited about this Haunted Mansion mystery box. I'm really, really hoping to get the three hitchhiking ghosts. If you like mystery pin unboxing, stay tuned. There will be plenty in this channel in the near future. And then there were more pins. Let me show you these briefly. This pin is awesome. It is Simba and it is like a little maze with one of those little games that you have to get the little ball to go around the maze. And I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping this one or using it for trade, but I got a really good price for it. And I figured either way, it would be a good pin for trading or for keeping. Um, not sure if I'm gonna keep it because I don't really collect any um, Lion King pins, but it's really, really cute. 
Then I got this Kilimanjaro Safari pin and this one again was on sale. That's the reason why I got it. The one thing that I absolutely love here is that the giraffe is like sticking out from behind the tree. I love giraffes. Can you tell? Giraffes and me, we go together. So I love this ride. I love this pin. Definitely a keeper. Ding. This pin, I thought it was really, really cute. It is Minnie giving Mickey a little kiss on the cheek and I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's. Look at Mickey, he looks so happy and so excited. They are inside a little red heart and I just thought it was an adorable pin. Then I got this Toy Story pin and I am a Toy Story fan. Toy Story is like my third Disney favorite movie. I've mentioned this before. Beauty and the Beast is my first, Aladdin will be my second, and third, definitely Toy Story. All three of them. I think all three parts are amazing. And this is a really, really beautiful pin. It's actually very, very shiny. And it is Buzz Lightyear with the little aliens. I love the aliens. Um, I didn't think much of them the first part of the movies, but then they definitely grew on me. And I love, love, love them by the third movie. It has a little Z on the bottom for Zerg. And it's just a really cute pin. It's very shiny and on a sale. I couldn't pass it up. The last two pins are actually of Belle, my favorite princess. The first one is this one right here. It is the Banner tassel pin and she just looks absolutely stunning in this picture right here beautiful beautiful pin and beautiful bell and the last one is this glittery pin where bell is sitting down reading a book now i have a special passion for pins where bell is reading or with a book around i just feel like I can relate to her so much. Ever since I was little, she was like my hero and maybe that's why, one of the reasons why I love reading so, so much. I felt like I was always a little weird or a little odd and I like reading, I really got into reading so I felt like I could really relate to Belle. And perhaps that's why I ended up marrying a beast. My husband is definitely gonna love that joke. Anyway, that is everything for this haul. I've gotten more pins over the past few days. A lot of them are limited edition pins that I wanted to add to my collection, but I'm thinking of actually doing a separate video just for pins, just in case you're not as crazy for pins as I am, you can skip that one. But if you're interested, I am going to be sharing those with you very soon. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you on my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. In the meantime, take care, be good. Ciao.